The general stock market has experienced little to no volatility over the last few months. The S&P 500 only fluctuates by a little over 1% in each direction on even the most volatile days, which is a minimal amount. This low volatility can be attributed to the stock market's readiness for a breakout in either direction. The stock market debate has gotten increasingly divisive, with some contending that hyperinflation is imminent and others arguing that inflation is merely momentary. Recently, Michael Burry issued some stock market cautions on his Twitter account, directly debunking Kathy Wood's views. This whole conflict between these two investors is becoming the most significant conflict in the history of contemporary finance, rather than just a conflict between two sorts of investors. In this video, I'll discuss Michael Burry's most recent cautions and how they're causing a significant division in the stock market. Michael Burry believes that the inflation rate for the U.S. economy will rise sharply, and he's placing significant bets on this. Following Burry's most recent 13F filing, he's bought call options in inflation hedge stocks like Google, Facebook, CVS, and Kraft Heinz, and put options on Tesla and the bond market. Michael Burry tweeted on June 15, 2021, People always ask me what's going on in the markets. It is simple. Greatest speculative bubble of all time in all things. By two orders of magnitude. Hashtag Flying Pigs 360. Michael Burry made a rather daring forecast with this one, especially in light of the fact that he not only called the present economic climate a bubble, but the biggest one ever. His statements imply that he believes the stock market is in a worse situation than it was at the height of the dot-com bubble. However, he believes this bubble is two orders of magnitude greater, so it's not simply that. This contrasts sharply to what Ray Dalio declared in March 2021, when he claimed that the stock market bubble was comparable to those of 1929 or 2000 in size. The stock market has increased even more since Dalio's remarks, but it hasn't doubled in size by Dalio's estimates. Burry's final tweet had the phrase, hashtag flying pigs 360, which could refer to two different concepts. The first is the notion that before people's predictions come true in reality, they will speculate so much that pigs will fly. When pigs fly is a proverb, which is a form of exaggeration which is so excessive that it's debatable. The other concept to which Burry might be alluding to is the phrase, bulls make money, bears make money, pigs get butchered, concerning the stock market. There is undoubtedly a lot of truth in that statement. Long-term bulls have profited significantly from the stock market. However, bears like Michael Burry have previously predicted short-term crashes and profited from doing so. Michael Burry claimed in a since-deleted tweet that Kathy Wood's leading exchange-traded fund was doomed to fail. Between March 2020 and February 2021, the value of the tech investment celebrity's ARK Innovation ETF doubled, but it has since lost all of those gains. Burry tweeted a screenshot of the stock chart for ARK over the past three years, writing, This was coming because it has always been this way before. How anyone over the age of 40 did not see it coming is a riddle. The answer is greed. During the first year of the pandemic, the price of ARK stock rose sharply from about $38 to a high of about $160. The rising value of the fund's holdings and in businesses, including Tesla, Zoom, Shopify, and Coinbase, contributed to its growth. However, due to rising interest rates and a gloomier economic outlook, its shares have plunged 63% this year, echoing a broader sell-off of IT stocks. Burry foresaw that Wood's success would fade and the value of her fund would plummet back in February 2021. It is too early, she's too hot, and today short sellers are timid. But Wall Street will be ruthless in the end, the investor of the big short fame tweeted at the time. Burry went on to say that ARK was defining an era, most likely alluding to the enormous hype surrounding speculative assets at the time of the pandemic. If you know your history, there's a pattern here that can help you. If you don't, you're destined to repeat it, he said. The boss of Scion Asset Management also took the opposite side on Wood. In the second quarter of 2021, Burry's fund had bearish put options against both the stock of ARK and its biggest holding, Tesla. Wood argued in response to Burry's wager that he could not see her preferred tech firm's strong growth potential or alluring values because he didn't comprehend their fundamentals. Burry is most known for foreseeing and profiting from the burst of the U.S. housing bubble in the middle of the 2000s. Additionally, he bought shares of GameStop well before the boom in meme stocks and got into a spat with Elon Musk after criticizing the Tesla CEO. That concludes today's video. Thanks for joining us till the end and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.